What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a scribble effect in Vegas Pro 14. Now, just before I get into this tutorial, if you're not a patient person, then you won't like this tutorial because we're going to be doing this frame by frame. Okay, so you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up, and also in my taskbar, I have Paint Up. This is where we will be doing the effect. So from Vegas Pro 14, I have Whit Lowry's song known as Numb, the official music video. You can check it out in the description. And yeah, hopefully I don't get copyright. Anyway, so this part I've already split out here is where I want the effect to happen. So just this part here, it's about over a second. So I'm going to play it through from here so you can see what it actually looks like. I mean it, I mean it, okay, I'm a mean it, yeah. A gift and a curse to feel everything okay. There we go. Now, you know why I said at the start, if you're not a patient person, then don't do this because we're going to be doing this frame by frame. So, for example, this right here is one frame. Then I'm going to press this button to go to the next frame. Then we're going to do it again. Do it again. Do it again. And so on as long as you want to. And I'm going to do it for this duration of this clip right here. So, the first part right here, what I'm going to do is make sure this is set to best and full. Then I'm going to take a snapshot. So I've made a folder called images and I'm just going to call this number one because this is going to be the first frame. From here, we're going to head over to paint. Now with paint opened up, I'm simply going to drag and drop this image in, which we have right here. Now you can zoom out here at the bottom so you can see just like that. And this is where you can be creative. So the brushes are up here, the different styles you can get. I'm just going to stick to the default here. Um, there is the color you can pick from, so different colors here, and you can also pick the size of uh, the brush. So you can see if you like it, you can see that's very thin, and I don't want that. So I'm going to come back to size and put this thicker, and that's better for me. So I'm actually going to switch brushes to uh, this one right here, which is the marker, and you'll see this is because it's thicker, and it gives this kind of effect. So for this, I'm going to be doing uh, a white, and all I'm going to do is drag lines like so. So I'm going to keep going like this and keeping it next to him like so. There we go. And of course, if you want to do an outline, you can do an outline. So then from there, you come to file, save as, and you can save it as a JPEG or PNG, completely up to you. Now back to this same folder I have, I'm going to call this number 1.1. .1. This lets me know it's going to be the first one and it's the edited version because it's 1.1. So I'm going to select save and that's done. So from there we head back over to Vegas Pro 14. We right click insert another video track and then with that image we just drag and drop it above like so. Now remember this is only one frame so I'm going to press right on my keyboard, press S, delete the remaining. So this is what we sort of have. It's going to come on screen for literally a frame. Now you'll notice it actually goes back all the way to here. He's in a static position. So with that being said, you actually can take a little cheat here and just drag this back and use it for all the frames. So you'll see that's going to stay there the entire time. But then we go on to the next frame and of course it's going to be number two. So again, make sure best and full, save snapshot file. And this one is going to be called two. Same process again, we're going to open up paint. This time we're going to come to new and we're going to drag on number two the image, zoom out, and again I will be adding on a white, and I will be making the brush this highlights here, and the size to keep it at that actually. And actually I will be using different colors just to give it a bit of a different effect. So each time a frame comes up it's going to be with a different color. And yeah, so I'm going to keep going like this. And of course, when you're doing this, make sure you do take your time. I am just rushing for the purpose of the tutorial, but this is what it's going to look like. Again, file, save as, choose PNG or JPEG, and I'm going to call this 2.1 and select save. And then we're going to head back over to Vegas. We're going to drag on 2.1 right here. And now you'll see it's in place. So then from here, of course, um, one frame, we come across S, delete the remaining. Um, yeah, you can see the frame does move again. So then we come back again, take snapshot and do the exact same process again for this entire part right here. 
Now I will be doing that for you, it will be in a time lapse version though, I won't be going through it step by step because of course that will take forever. So that's going to be on screen right now and the full edited version is the video you 